Hello friends. So I wish you all a very fine morning. And we shall continue with our topic as well. And you know we are going to be studying about the judiciary in India. And we said that we have an independent judiciary which is not controlled by other organs of the state like legislative and executive and therefore the judiciary is able to give an independent verdict in case there is any uh, case they are able to give an uh, independent uh, judgment without showing any partiality and so on. So that is one of the uh, important the fact is that we are able to have a great democracy because of this independent judiciary. So today we shall study about the structure of the court. So uh, yesterday we said that we have different levels of court. On top there is Supreme Court, below that there are High Courts, then below that there are District Courts and Local Courts. So there are so many courts are there. So let us see the structure, how they are formed or how they are placed and so on. So you can take your textbook page number 57, uh, what is the structure of courts in India? That is the topic that we are going to deal with today. So there are three different levels of courts in our country. So how many levels are there? Three levels. So we can represent them like a triangle. We can divide them into three levels. Naturally, the top layer is Supreme Court. We will write short form. Then this is High Court. And this is Lower Court. So Supreme Court, High Court and Lower Court. In the lower court, uh, it is, there are so many courts are there, like district courts are there, uh, like that we will continue to come to learn about. So on top there is Supreme Court and above Supreme Court there is no other court, that is the highest court in our country. So we can say it is like a pyramid. So Supreme Court is only one and as we come down to high court, there are so many courts are there. Most of the states have got their own courts, high courts. And district courts are still many. That's why it becomes bigger and bigger. As we go, it becomes number is becoming less. So it becomes like a pyramid. So <clears throat> there are several courts in our country. At the lower level, while there is only one at the apex level. Apex means the highest, the highest level. There is only one court, there is only one supreme court. But at the lowest level, there are so many courts are there in our country. The courts that most people interact with are what we call subordinate or district courts. So, most of us, we do not go up to supreme court. Unless it is a very serious issue, we don't go to supreme court. Most of the common people, ordinary people, uh, when they have some problems or they need some solution, they approach the high court. They go up to high court level. And some of us may not even reach up to high court. We may go up to district court only. There we get the verdict and we are satisfied. If we are not satisfied, we will go to high court. So most of the ordinary people, they go only to the first level. That is the lowest level because uh, going to the court is very expensive. So unless we are very rich, you will not be able to succeed in the case. Though we say it is independent and so on, still a lot of expenses are involved. You have to pay the court fee, you have to pay the fee to the lawyer. So much of expenses are there. So it brings uh, ordinary person. Not that easy to get access to get justice or law because of the high expenses that are involved in that. Then 
<coughs> and these lower cores, these lower cores, they are usually known as district court or tehsil court, or in towns. And they hear many kinds of cases. So in the town, mostly it is set up in the town, <coughs> and they are able to hear many cases and give solution to the people. And each state is divided into districts. We know that one very well. In our own state, Arunachal Pradesh, we have so many districts are there. So area wise. It is this, uh, divided, and each district is supposed to have one district level court in order to solve the problems of that area, people of that area. So every country we have so many states are there, and every state is divided into so many districts, and every district will have one is court, and and each district. Court is presided over by a district judge. So not just court building alone, but a judge will be there. He will be the one who will be hearing the case and will be giving the verdict. So uh, court presided by a judge. Preside means to preside over the function. When the case is uh, going on, the judge will sit in his seat and he will hear. He will control the proceedings and he will. At last, you hear from both sides the arguments and then will give warning to the person who deserve justice. And each state has a high court, which is higher court of that state. So the lower court will be in the district level, and the high court will be in the state level. Every state or majority of the state have got one each high court. And that is the highest court in that state. And after high court, it is the next highest state is uh, Supreme Court. That is in Delhi, in the state in the country's capital. So every state has got high court. Every not every state, but majority of the states have got high courts. <coughs> and at the top of the Supreme Court, that is located in New Delhi. And is presided over by the Chief Justice of India. So at the top was we have the Supreme Court, and that is situated in Delhi. And who is presiding over the cases in Supreme Court? That's a Chief Justice. Many judges are there in Supreme Court, but one judge will be called Chief Justice of India. So he will be the senior most judge in the court, and he will be the main. He will be called the Chief Justice of India. And who is the present Chief Justice of India? Do you remember? So he is called N. V. Ramana. N. V. Ramana. So that is the name of our present Chief Justice, N. V. Ramana, and he is the 48th Chief Justice of India. So so far we have 48 Chief Justices in India. He is the present one, N. V. Ramana, and I hope you remember last year we had another Chief Justice. His name is S. C. Bob Day. He was a 47th one, and now N. V. Ramana has become the Chief Justice, 48th Chief Justice of India. <coughs> so the decisions made by the Supreme Court are binding on all other courts in India. So no high court or no lower court can overrule what Supreme Court says. So Supreme Court is the highest authority, and what they say it is binding on all other courts. All other courts have to obey the ruling of Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court has given a verdict, 
and high court cannot say that is not correct we will give another verdict no it will be binding on all the other courts because it is the topmost court in our country but other one is possible if the high court gives a verdict then supreme court can change that verdict because supreme court is higher than the high court but what supreme court gives high court cannot change because supreme court is higher than the high court i hope you understand so the diagram you remember and by remembering this you will be able to know that on top of there is only one court that is supreme court and below that there are many high courts are there most of the states have got their own high court then below that there are district courts or lower courts and there are so many lower courts are there in our country and that is the structure in our country is set up the structure of the court is set up in our country in this way and the following page you can see uh, several pictures are there you can see several pictures and these are different courts in different states so this one is the high court of madras and this one is the high court of patna this is in patna and this one is the high court of karnataka so you can see the high court of karnataka so different states have got different high courts and that is the highest court in each state now let us see are these different levels of courts connected to each other so we said if the law court gives a verdict and the people are not satisfied you can go to the high court and high court will hear that case again the arguments again and they can give a different verdict suppose they see the law court verdict was not okay so they can change that verdict and give another verdict and if they are not satisfied with the high court verdict people can go to supreme court and supreme court will hear that case again and can if they feel that verdict is not good not just then supreme court can change it again so the courts are connected in our country no court is independent only the supreme court is the highest and nobody can control the supreme court but all these lower courts and high courts can be controlled by the supreme court so they are connected to each other these courts are not independent they can be challenged in the higher court so in india we have an integrated judicial system integrated means connected together the judicial system is connected together and meaning that the decisions made by high courts are binding on lower courts so the higher courts making a decision and that is binding on the lower court for example if the supreme court is making a decision then high court and lower court they have to follow that decision they cannot say we will not obey supreme court there is no such option they have to obey the supreme court and if high court is making a decision then lower court has to obey that supreme court no need to obey the high court because supreme court is higher than the uh, high court but high court is higher than the lower court therefore the decision that is made by higher court has to be obeyed by the lower court so the higher court that makes a decision the lower court has to follow it and another way to understand this integration is through appellate system so there is a system called appellate what is appellate <coughs> it is called appellate system let us see what is appellate system that means a person can appeal to a high court if they believe that judgment passed by the lower court is not just so 
Suppose a person goes to a lower court, for example, let me say, his neighbor has stolen his property. Stolen his property. Let's say land. His neighbor has stolen his land. So they will go to the court and they will present the case. And the person, affected person will say, he has changed the boundary and has taken away my land. And the other person will say, no, no, I have not changed it. It was like that before all was. I have not touched it at all, they will say. So both will try to say what they are saying is true. So they have to provide evidence. This affected person has to say, my boundary line was there before, now he has become this side. So he has to provide proof for that. Or he has to bring some witnesses to say, yes, what he says is correct. I also have seen his boundary was before there. So they have to provide witnesses and the court will hear both of them and the judge will think which whose argument is correct and accordingly he will give the verdict. So if the court says yes that fellow has changed his boundary line then he will say you have to put back the boundary line in the original place and give some punishment also to that fellow who cheated. And if that person say, feels no I have not cheated but I am getting punishment from the court he is not happy with that verdict then he will go to high court give that case again. So high court will hear the case again and the high court again feel yes that person has cheated. So he should pay the fine and he should get punishment. And still that fellow feels no I have not done it and they are giving false witnesses, they are giving false evidences and therefore he can if he wants he can go to Supreme Court also. The Supreme Court also will hear the case and give the verdict. And if Supreme Court also is against him, then he has no more place to go higher. He has to accept that verdict and he has to uh, pay the fine and take the punishment and so on. So that is called appellate system. Appellate means we can appeal. So first we will appeal the lower court. Then if you are not happy with that judgment, we will go to high court. If the, we are not happy with the high court judgment, he will go to Supreme Court and so on. So always it is good that we go to the lower court so that we can go to the higher court afterwards but straight away also we can go to supreme court but then that will be the final if supreme court is not giving you a favorable judgment then you have nowhere else to go you will have to accept that verdict and you have to take punishment so what people do is first they go to the lower court if they get a fair judgment they are happy they are not getting fair judgment, they will go to high court. Then, the high court, if they are getting fair judgment, okay, they are happy, they will stop there. If they are not getting fair judgment, they will go to Supreme Court and so on. So, that is called appellate system. So, in our country, this appellate system is there. That's why the courts are integrated in our country. We said they are integrated, they are connected to each other. No one is independent. High court cannot say, Lower court has given the verdict, therefore we will not change it. No. If they have to hear the case, if they appeal to the high court, they have to hear it and they have to give a correct verdict, a new verdict again. Sometimes they may give the same verdict what the local court, local court gave, but they have to hear, they have to listen to both parties, analyze the case and they have to give the verdict. So that is must, that is appellate system. So, in this, uh, in order to understand this appellate system, we shall study a case, a case that happened many years ago. So, how they went to the court and how they uh, did not get a favorable judgment, then how they went to the high court, how they did not get a favorable judgment, and how they went to the Supreme Court at last and they got a favorable verdict. So, we shall wind up for today and in the next class we shall study about that case, that case story and after hearing that story, uh, you will be able to understand better the uh, what is the meaning of appellate system. So, we shall study in the next class. Okay. So, thank you for listening. Have a nice day.